welcome back to the channel guys today um i have the day off and i'm going to be going to a couple different dealerships to see how much they'll give me for the limited um i am wanting to kind of get rid of it uh i got some other things in mind so i wanted to make a video and see just how much the dealerships are gonna lowball me with so let's go let's go get some numbers guys let's go see who's gonna be the big baller so there's one there's chevy and then there is ram right over there so let's go to ram and see if we can get a decent offer from those guys they got some nice waggies here. Look at that. Their lot is full. Guys, look at that single cab. It's a newer body style in a single cab. That thing is sick. I love that front end. Those highlights are super nice. Well, guys, we have made it. Let's go see what these guys say. Uh, looking to see if uh, you guys are interested in uh, purchasing my truck. Okay. No. Okay. Is it a clear pedal? Yeah. Which one is it? This one right here. Uh, I got some other things uh, in mind and uh, looking no to see what you, what you guys got to offer. Sure. All right. So. Are they pretty quick usually? Well, should be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So they took some pictures and got some numbers. So now we're going to see what they say. Got a Hellcat over there. TRX. Should I try to get one of these guys? Nah. Those things are sick though. Got a nice old one next to us. <laughs> well, guys, just got out of that place. This thing's nice. <laughs> so, guys, tell me why. So, there's a guy that I was that I was working in there with. He's a salesman. And then there's another guy uh, at the main entrance. He was basically trying to take over the salesman that was already helping me. So the guy that tried taking over, he uh, was trying to say that I had an aftermarket exhaust just because I have a tip on the uh, exhaust. Then he tried saying that uh, obviously my lift, that it's aftermarket and that it's a lot harder um, to sell because it doesn't perform as well as if it had the stock but i mean to me with my lift kit it's only a four inch lift uh you can do absolutely anything with that lift kit it's not gonna stop you from pulling x amount of pounds it's it's it, it's not but either way he tried to put those things as uh as an excuse so guys they gave me the appraisal sheet check this out they would give me fifty three thousand dollars for my truck this truck guys obviously has all the bells and whistles it is a limited it has the big display has heated and cooled seats leather seats power windows power seats it's got all the bells and whistles guys it's got the sunroof it's got the rear uh door i mean the rear window that slides um back and forth it, it has absolutely everything you can think of guys so this and truck guys the kbb value on it is about 62 to sixty five thousand dollars with the mileage that it has um and how clean it is so um I told the guy in there, I was like, you know, KBB is is a, a different number than what you're giving me. I'm like, obviously, you guys need to make your money. I understand that. But 
you guys are trying to make ten thousand dollars <laughs> um i mean that that is a dealership for you i i knew this i knew this was gonna happen that's why i'm not butt hurt but i mean i was trying to get somewhere around Fifty-eight thousand to sixty thousand with one of their offers, but they are in the low fifties, so that is a no-go. Um, I am going to be going to this dealership right here with the red roof. That is Minnesota Truck Minnesota Truck Headquarters, and we'll see what they have uh to offer if they're interested so this is the other dealership i was talking about guys obviously they are known for a bunch of lifted trucks that is why the name is called minnesota truck headquarters they got a couple of locations um and they are pretty big too so let's go see what these guys have to offer if they're interested I've never been to this place before either, so let's go see. How big of a lift is it? Uh, four, inch? four inch? Yeah. I don't want to go too big. Oh, he jumped. Okay. You're wet in your life. All right, guys. So I just got out of uh, Minnesota Truck Headquarters. Super cool people. Um, they loved the truck. Uh, they complimented the truck. Um, but um, the numbers were just not there. Um, so the manager there, I think his name was Rick. Rick or Rook. Uh, cool guy. Um, he ended up calling his boss uh, because I guess, you know, this truck having such low miles, he couldn't really give me like a number. Um, so he called his boss and unfortunately we got literally the same offer as uh, the other place, uh, $53,000 once again. Um, they wanted, they, they kind of wanted the forces, but I can't, I can't give them the forces. I'm selling the truck without forces because I have those forces on my other Cummins. But I mean, if. I mean, if they pay for the forces, what they're worth, then yeah, we could probably work something out. But in the meantime, right now, I'm just, you know, uh, trying to sell the truck the way it sits. So, um, yeah, that's a no-go for both locations for me. So I'm going to have to pass. And I think that is it for trying to go and get uh, some offers because... I was actually thinking about going to CarMax, but these two guys are literally on the same page for numbers. Um, I feel like CarMax is gonna be even worse. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll pass on that and call it a day. Well guys, now that we got some free time on our hands, I'm wanting to start up the lightning. Uh, haven't started it up in a while so let's see if it'll start and if not i got the little jumper so yeah let's let's get to it well those of you that don't know i have a 1993 ford lightning gen one really clean truck there it is super clean truck i did the headliner on it with my cousin suede it's got a sound system in it too. Got a double din on it as well. And the whole interior used to be gray. Now it's all black. Everything's black. So let's see. I think I had taken off the battery terminals. So I think that's why it doesn't turn on. So let me do that. All right guys, so the truck is completely dead. So we're gonna start it up with this. That battery, I bought it new last year, and now it's bad. Thought I had disconnected the terminals before putting in the storage, but I guess I didn't, so. I got this off of TikTok, guys. So if you guys wanna get one, go ahead and get one down below. I will add the link. 
that, so there it is, okay. So you basically connect it and then it turns green here. That means that you're good to go to start it. So I'm gonna go start it. There we go, guys. There it is. That little jumper right there. battery is bad what all right guys so the battery was really bad it was super super dead but it's charging now and we're gonna let it run for a little bit but i think what i'm gonna do is once it gets a little nicer out um i'm gonna take the battery well i'll take the whole truck to um O'Reilly and get the battery swapped out because it has warranty and they'll just give me a new one And we'll put in a new fresh battery for the summer. What do you guys think? Well guys, that's pretty much it for the truck. Like I said, once I get it out, uh, when it's nicer out, I'll show you guys more of the truck. Look at the floor mats, they say lightning on them. And I've got these second gen wheels on the truck. Chrome. I've got a side exit exhaust on that other side. Got a cowl hood, Cervini's on it. It's a little dirty, but that's pretty much it, guys. There she is. Can't wait to take her out. <laughs>